Here's a short video that shows you how to create product bundles using an Excel file, which is a lot faster than doing it one by one in the app. So in this BrightPal account, we've got three different rash vests. We've got a small, a medium, and a large, and they've all got unique SKUs. What we're going to do is we're going to create a bundle, a bulk buy, where if a user buys two of each of these, then they get it at a special price. So the first thing we're going to do is create a data map to import products. And we do that at setup, data, slash import, and then import products. This will show any existing data maps you've got, and click the button on the right hand side to create a new data map. Let's give this data map a name, call it create bundles, and because we're going to be creating products at the same time as bundling items, we need to add the columns that are required for creating new products, so SKU, name, brand, and category. If we wanted to add extra fields, we could do so, but the one we really need is bundle SKUs. Click the plus to add it to the left-hand side, where we can see here it's the fifth column. And then save your data map. So here's our Create Bundles data map. Let's go to Import, where we can export a sample file to Excel. We'll give the bundle itself a SKU and a name, a brand, a category, and then this column here, the final column, bundle SKUs, is what we use to actually bring the SKUs of the components in to this bundle. So going back to BrightPole, we'll find the SKUs of the different components. So Billa S, Billa M, and Billa L. Let's copy that, paste it in here, and we need to say how many of these we're going to add. We're going to have two. And similarly for the medium, we're going to have two. And for the large, we're going to have two. In our BrightPile account, let's go back to that data map, set up, data and import, import products, create bundles, and then import the values. It's worth emailing a report to yourself so that you get any errors. We don't want to skip items not found because we want to create items not found. I generally always tick create missing brands and create missing categories. And then let's find the file. Note that it's an XLS file, not XLSX. We can see that the category has been added, category called rash vests, and one new product has been created. Let's search for that product by typing bundle, where we've got the rash vest pack here with the SKU that we typed in the spreadsheet. Clicking to open this and going to the bundle tab shows me that I've got two of each of the individual rash vests in this bundle, the small, the medium and the large. And that's how easy it is to create bundles using Excel. If the product already exists in BrightPearl, you can assign the bundle components by updating spreadsheet rather than adding by spreadsheet.